Good afternoon. So, this is our fifth meeting to discuss oblations. Did everyone read up to page 124? Yeah. yeah. Yep. What were some of our thoughts? I found it adequate. I thought Nick Rapatrizone's oblations marks the debut of a pro stylist whose muscular compressed language defines praise anew. Rapatrizone's fisted, graceful words remind us that work, worship, games, and generational heritage form the heart of the American vernacular. Oblations is beautifully new and Rapatrizone is enormously gifted. Agreed, this prose and poem collection changed my life. In fact, the collection reminds me of the skin on a young girl's wrist. I totally agree. I think that's enough. Don, if you need money, we'll lend it to you. You don't have to keep reaching into the table without asking. Graham, I'm just utterly offended that you would even accuse me of stealing food. You know what? If you would just excuse me, I'm just gonna be on my merry way here and, you know, you know just get away from you filthy degenerates, as you would call me. Well, in the words of Virginia Woolf, someone has to die in order that the rest of us should value life. I agree. Let's not let Don's useless sack of organs ruin our meeting. Graham! I'm sick of how you discuss the recently deceased. Alright, the meeting must go on. Finally, someone with some sense. Don, why are you even doing this? If you tell anybody about this, I swear I will literally kill you. Well, we should just break conventional gender norms and pursue our dreams of becoming something greater, I think. Just come on, it'll be fun. more than sweet tea. In fact, I think it's in one of the top 15 Oregonian spas in New Jersey. Are you sure? This is more like a top 16 Oregonian spa to me. Really? Would I make such a rookie mistake? I don't know. You don't even know the difference between Tresto and Thurnan Taxis. Oh, so that's where it's going. At least my mother isn't a fish. You know what? You can go back home and pay your idol a whiskey priest. Uh, guys, I just checked. It's actually a top 17 Oregonian spot. Good riddance. I'm pretty sure Nick skimmed Nick Rapatrizone's masterpiece. Let's take a break. Two dead in a matter of three minutes has really sparked my appetite. Let's get some food. Make sure the food's clean. I'll be back soon. Graham. Oh, okay. I've been looking for that. 
Thank you. Yep. suing you and your tractor for all you are worth. Your petty mind could never imagine how valuable my leg is. Insurance fraud is a serious stuff. You sure you want to go there? You practically severed my leg. You severed your leg? I barely touched you. You should really be more careful. Tractors are plentiful in these parts. You should be careful in how you speak to me. Guys, come on. Ah! Ah! to irresponsibly driving a tractor and almost maiming me on the 5th of May? Absolutely not. I'll let Jesus take the wheel. I was also under the distraction of a great lawn care product. If you're interested in maintaining a beautiful lawn, please take this time to look into the Kalamazoo No-Grow. Prevent all the weeds from ever growing in your lawn. If interested, call 1-800-500-8429. Enough, enough of that. Back to the case. The case is closed. Thomas Pynchon is guilty. You owe Grant all your material wealth with a net sum of $356. I'm penniless. I'm without a savior. Graham, you'll get what you deserve. Cotton Eye Joe, I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Don, I have an important question to ask you. That depends. Is it an important question? Yes. Good, good. I love important questions. Awesome. Meet me in that. Meet me at my house in the back in five minutes. Once it stops raining. Nice box, Don. I see you've been decorating. Thank you. It looks nice, doesn't it? So, about that favor, I need you to kill Graham. No, I no, I can't do that. I just value Graham's life too much. I'll pay you one thousand dollars. I I don't think I would even do it for one dollar. You know that's just outrageous. I can't believe you would ask me that. If you'll excuse me. I'm gonna leave to my dinner party now. Taking you home with you. Honestly, Tom, these dead bodies are quite the nuisance. I agree. We should probably bury them. But, a regular funeral service is far too expensive. However, I do know of a barn not too far from here for which we can dispose of the bodies. We could also ask Dope Ass Mikey Q. I'm pretty sure he's an ordained reverend. I've never seen Dope Ass Mikey Q before. Oh, don't worry. You'll like him. was good. Go ahead and cop my new mixtape. We were actually more interested in your religious services. I feel that. I feel that. So you want me to MC a bar mitzvah? I got this dope version of the Hava Najila. I think it's fine. Not quite. Actually, we were more interested in the funeral service. Alright, say that. We finna turn up. <laughs> Lit, boy. Let's get it. They were all so young. It's such a shame. So much talent wasted. I just wish they got the chance to finish Oblations, you know what I mean? Nick Patterson's novel was definitely a masterpiece. Tom? Tom, where are you? This is not funny. Tom! Hello, Tony. You guys are probably all wondering why you're here. It's because I've been wrong my entire life. By all of you. All of you! I used to live in peaceful harmony, but no, all of you guys 
had to take one piece of my solidarity and peace and ruin it. But for the case of our beloved book meeting, I hope you guys all sincerely were able to finish Oblations. I'm sorry. Yo, Tom, what's good? I'm ready for these burial services. Where that girl you was where early at? Your funeral services are no longer required. Damn. I've been practicing. This shit was gonna be fire. Yo, if you want, we still play that fire mixtape. Word, I feel that. Man, the first song is called Straight Thugging. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my own dudes. Shout out my dog. Shout out Elmo, you feel me? For always having my back. Drop it right now, bro. Three, two, one, let's get it. So what have our thoughts and perceptions been about this masterpiece? Uh, Tom, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fi uh, I find oblations adequate. Tom, do you not respect the sanctity of a book club meeting? Yeah, sure, I do. So on page 86... It wasn't a dream! <laughs> 